everyone, and happy Friday to you. Welcome back. Little quick story before we get started. I'm sitting next to Superhero. Oh my god. You probably didn't know that. So, literally, like, 20 minutes ago, so we're at our Jane location, um, and someone was just in an accident, literally, right outside the door here, and this superhero sprung into action, and he took care of this lady. It was really pretty cool. Yeah, don't forget what you did. We couldn't have done it without your help. You actually went and got a bottle of water for this poor woman. I got water. <laughs> hey, guys, I can't say she bye, presented it like I Vanna. can Here's your water. Bring water. <laughs> Yeah. I'm the real hero in the situation. She she was. She was. Yes. Yeah. And here's the worst part. The poor lady, I, she had a cat in the car with her. It was really kind of sad. Name Willie. Name Willie. And um, and there was an armadillo, literally, that had already been on the road for a minute. So by the time she'd come across, it was sort of hanging out there while we were all standing around. It was a little rough. It was rough. It was right. Real rough. I shouldn't say that was the worst part. The worst part is the accident happened, but she's totally fine. And Doc took care of her, and, and you could tell whenever she realized he was there, it made her made her day, made yep. her feel better. So that was pretty cool. But she couldn't have got through it without your bottle of water. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting next to a real, where's your cape? No, I don't need a cape. You need a cape. I need the cape. Yeah, hey, I will wear a cape. I feel like it would really take my day from oh my just God. normal to extraordinary. All you need is a cape and some duct tape. I feel like it. There's some real dramatic things you can do with a cape, too. I feel like that's... There's some real good things we can do with duct tape with you. That's true. So, <laughs> okay. Well, how about, without further ado, I'll just ask your questions for Free Advice Friday. So, you guys submit the question. We ask this guy here, the guy with the big brains, the superhero, springs into action, saves the day. Oh, He'll answer please, for get on free. with it. <laughs> so, your first question today, sir... It is, of course, allergy season. We've talked about it time and time again. Could you just give us a quick rundown of what people need to know if they have allergies? Oh, the biggest, you know, a lot of people think they can have a head cold mm -hmm. versus allergies, and how do you tell the difference? That's actually the big one. A lot of times with allergies, you're not really going to get the muscle aches, the pains, the joints. You certainly won't get a fever. Now, head congestion, eyes itching, watering, crusting. You can get a scratchy throat because mm -hmm. the drainage dripping on the back of your larynx, cough, wheezing, mm -hmm. uh, you can actually break out in a rash. That's all going to be allergy related. Here's the tricky point. You can have allergies in your head, gets filled with congestion and fluid and stuff, but you can't get a bacteria in there. And so it can develop into an infection. And uh, it's not uncommon, probably 20, 30% of the times it actually does. Really? So you have to be treated for allergies and an infection. And sometimes it's really tough to tell the difference between the two. Wow. So. I know. I've been having a scratchiness in the back of my throat. It freaks me out. Yeah, too bad you don't lose your voice. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. But I did this. This wintertime I did. You were lucky for there about three days. Oh, my luck didn't hold out. Well, no. Yeah. It's, it's not going to last. That's for sure. So, <laughs> but those are the things you want to look for. Okay. Like the, the fever, the chills, the arthralgias. With allergies, you, when you blow your nose, it's usually clear, can be a touch of yellow, but if you start doing, uh, having green and brown, that's going to be an infection. Okay. All so right. that's the difference you watch okay. for. All right. So hopefully that helps you with allergy season um, and what to look for. But we do allergy shots here. Yes. I actually got one before, um, So and I, and I didn't have any allergy issues until it wore off. But I don't think I'm going to do it on the I think I'm just going to type it up. What do you think? I think it's great because okay. there's still got me emotionally scarred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we do them here, so if you're interested, let us know. So uh, I hope that nobody has allergies, but the fact is, it seems like everybody does anymore. Yeah, yeah. it's been a bad, bad spring for allergies. Yeah, and yeah. it's just getting started, so hang in there. Yeah. So, okay, so your next question, sir. Um, I, I think this is really good. Um, should you take medication as prescribed? Is there wiggle room? I feel like a lot of our patients kind of just do their own thing sometimes, even though, uh, and they kind of tell it to us after they get in, well, I've been kind of playing around with it, or I, I quit taking it for a while, specifically our weight management patients. I quit taking it for a while because it didn't seem like it was effective. What would you say to those people? You know, the best way to take weight loss medicine, not all medicine, certainly does apply to some, I suppose. It's the best way to take it is take it when you need it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you wake up in the morning with bite marks in your arm, you probably should take some. Yeah. But if you wake up in the morning and think, you know what, I'm going to do fine, don't take anything. Yeah. And that's and I do tell people that a lot. 
you know, that take it as needed. It's there to help you, mm -hmm. not for you to rely on it. Yeah, and this is weight management. Correct. Medication only. Only, yeah. And well, it applies to allergy medicine too. Take it when yeah. you need it. You don't miss it. I have to take it every day either. Yeah. So, so when you but say it, bite marks, you meant like you meant normal. No, no, normal. normal. <laughs> I was like, what are steak. you talking about? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm eating the steak. No. Ah, that's fine. I'm hungry. Yeah. You wake up in the morning with some nubs on your fingers. Yeah. Probably need to take it. Yeah, one. you've been chewing on your yeah, pillow. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. But, you know, other medicines like high blood pressure medicine, diabetes medicine, thyroid medicine, you know, those kind of medicines, you really need to take them every day. And yeah. as crazy as it sounds, there's a lot of people that don't do that. Yeah, it, so. it seems like I hear about that all the time. People say, well, I just sort of take it whenever. And whenever I feel bad, like I have a headache. No. Yeah. No, you yeah. need to take your blood pressure medicine every day. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like most medication, it seems like you should take it as prescribed, or at least talk to your doctor before you change sure. it. Unless it's, of course, the medication that, that doc prescribes and he tells you differently. But um, it feels like there's a lot of people out there just sort of willy-nilly. Yeah. Well, they call blood pressure medicine the silent killer because you don't you know you're dying from it. Yeah. Until you die. Well, in depression medication, there's a lot of people who just quit taking it because they feel better. And it's like, well, then it's working. <laughs> So keep taking it, Yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, but I think most people are like, I feel fine, you know? So I thought that was something maybe to touch on at least today. Uh, but another thing I think is important about weight management medication is um, if you don't feel like it's working or you're having issues, maybe don't just stop taking it, call the office sure. first. We have different types of medication sure. you can get on. So don't just give up or just quit for a while and kind of do it on your own. Maybe just check in first. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then see if there's maybe something else we can do. Because I think it's really important that you have a good um, relationship with your provider, whoever it is, or like if you're with Dr. Murphy, and just be very honest and open about what's going on. And, you know, you're smart. And well, I just cracks me up whenever you call me doctor, being my daughter. I mean, I just like... I know. I, get, I, think, I, I, say, I think I say, um, <laughs> every single time I call you doc. But, uh, yeah, because I'm like, oh, what is his name? Okay, Dr. Murphy. Because if I don't... <laughs> He gets on me like nobody's business. I do. He's like, <laughs> it's dark. Um, or I used, I was calling him Dwight de Moifi there for a while, and he said, you need to stop. <laughs> so I was like, okay. Um, but anyway, hopefully you communicate with your doctor, or if it's us, then let us know, and then we make sure that we can adjust as needed um, to take care of you. But, uh, you know, I think as a patient, you have the right to fight for yourself and, and say what you need and let us know what's going on, and, and we will do our best to make sure we take care of you. Right? Right. Okay. Okay, Dr. Murphy. <laughs> okay, your next question. I thought this was a really interesting one. And they wonder why I roll my eyes. Mm, I don't think they wonder. No, anymore. I don't think so either. I think they're I think rolling they know the their cause. eyes right along I think they know the cause. Yes, yes. It's me. It's me. Um, okay, by the way, I ran earlier. I'm still sweating and my hair is windblown. So I apologize. My hair and makeup is not on point today. I feel like I look a little ratty. <laughs> from running around this morning. Okay, so, a little side note. The next question, so here's something interesting about, um, I guess it's been about a month and a half ago, my um, grandpa uh, went to the hospital, they thought he had a stroke. Turns out he just had low blood sugar, right? Right. And, um, but it just started me thinking about a lot um, with strokes, I feel like strokes um, are another one of those things that just kind of happens out of nowhere. Um, and what my question was, is there a genetic factor to strokes? So if, if your mom or dad had a stroke, should you be concerned if, if it runs in your, his, in your family history? Is it something that you might have to worry about, or is it just kind of random? The answer to your question is going to be yes. There is a genetic okay. predisposition to strokes. But like strokes, and will include heart disease, you know, heart attacks and strokes, they're of the same, what we call pathophysiology. They're either what they call embolic, which means a clot traveled to it, or thrombotic, which means the, the occlusion happened at that particular site. I still say, and I've been saying this for 20 years, that our knowledge of what actually, why this occurs, it's still in its infancy. Mm -hmm. And I've always thought for many years that uh, inflammation total body inflammation plays a part in clot formation. Mm -hmm. They've looked at these uh, particular throm plaques, thrombuses mm -hmm. is what they call them, and they've dissected them open, Michelle, and they actually cut them open, and they look at them right the microscope. 
they find in, inflammation, scar tissue, bacteria. Mm -hmm. They at one time thought, my God, bacteria are causing these clots to form. But overall, I think it's a combination of a lot of things. I think it's a combination of scar tissue. I do think genetic factors from inflammatory processes, stress, cortisol releases, and bad lifestyle choices, mm -hmm. you know, smoking, tobacco, nicotine. I mean, that's the prevalence of heart disease goes off the scale yeah. when, when, when you do that. So they talk about reducing risk factors. You can't really change your genetic risk factor very much, but you can certainly change mm -hmm. all the other ones. So no, I do think there's a big genetic predisposition to it. But once again, just because your parents have it doesn't mean that was passed down to you. Okay. If you make the right choices for your life. Yes. Kind of like your mother, the most brilliant woman I've ever known. Mm -hmm. You did not get that gene, okay? Oh, so that, that was, was not me. passed down to you. <laughs> hey, they say intelligence comes from the mom. I did read that the other day. It skipped Might have been switched his birth or something. I don't know. <laughs> supposed to come it's to not working day. out for you. That's funny. Marie got all the brains, I guess. Yes, she did. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I'm not going to fight with that. Smart you guys girl. have hung out with me look, look at her brain. Look at the kids. Austin, Lander. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. I mean, the girl's four years old. She's like, awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. She is awesome. She is. They're awesome kids. Brie is an awesome mommy. And she just had another baby, so congratulations, Brie. Yeah. Raleigh, Raleigh Lane. Raleigh. Not Raleigh Lane. No, that's your That's uncle. my uncle Lane. Raleigh Rose. <laughs> and uh, anyway, yeah, and hopefully she's just as brilliant was, as the rest of them. What was going to be the middle name if it was a boy? Thomas. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah, so Raleigh Thomas, by the way. It was. It's my Uncle Lane's name, so Uncle Lane and Anthony, if you're watching, shout out. Um, cool. I think that's enough questions for today. Don't you think? Absolutely. Or do you want to do another one? It smells like, pop. It smells well, like armadillo. I was going to tell you there's a fly buzz in this. I think he stepped in armadillo. Well, I was trying to help the lady. That was her. I know. But yeah. you're, a little, you're a little right. Well, that armadillo was <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, guys. Thank you for submitting your questions. And we've got plenty on here um, for the next couple of weeks. But again, if you guys want to keep submitting your questions, we will keep writing them down. And we will keep answering them for you. Or at least he will. I'll just ask him. I'll be the water girl with your questions. Wear your seatbelt. <laughs> yes, wear your seatbelt and have a safe weekend. We'll see you next Friday. See you then.